Hello everyone, this is Brian from The Cruise Travelers and we are here to talk about the five steps to winning the Carnival Cruise Mixology Contest every single time. That's right, I'm gonna show you five steps on how to win the contest every single time you play. So stay tuned, guys. Steady. Even gold won't turn your tide. We flow together like an ocean. Every low and every high. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Brian again from the Cruise Travelers, and we're gonna go over the five steps on how you can win the Carnival Cruise Mixology Contest every single time. That's right. Like I said before, I'm a six-time undefeated Mixology Contest winner, as well as the Lip Sync Battle. I've won that uh, one time. We only played that one time, but um, it was an amazing time. But I'm gonna show you right here. Before we jump into the video, if you can, go ahead and smash that like button and click the subscribe. We're really starting to tick up on some of the uh, subscribers, and things are looking really good for right now. We're going to add some more videos this week, but as of right now, we're going to jump into the top five steps to winning the Mixology Contest. What is the Mixology Contest? That is a contest that they have most of the time on the second sea day. So if you have a seven day cruise and you have a second uh, sea day, they have it at about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock during the day and out by the main pool on the Lido deck. The first thing you need to do is you need to sign up. And how you sign up is the cruise director will come on and say, hey, Mixology Contest is coming on and uh, we need everyone to sign up. So everyone can go sign up. Where they sign up at is where they dispense the towels at on the Lido deck on deck nine, right around the pool. They hand out pieces of paper. Those pieces of paper require a few things like your name. It requires the name of your drink and then also the ingredients of your drink. So after about 15 to 20 minutes, they take all the pieces of paper from all the people that want to, um, that want to be in the mixology contest and they pick five. They pick five people out of all of them. There can be 40 or 50 people, but I have a way of getting picked every single time. I've never not been picked and here's how we do it. The first step when you get that piece of paper is the name. Don't put your own name down. My persona when I'm on the ship, is Big Daddy Red. See? Mm. Yep. That's my um, quarantine hair, by the way. It is Big Daddy Red. So I put my name down, Big Daddy Red. That jumps out. People really like that. They want someone that is excited, someone that wants to be in it, someone that is really motivated to get the crowd pumped. So I make up a persona to get on that sheet of paper. I write down Big Daddy Red. That's my persona. And then the next step is the name of the drink. This is really important. The name of your drink should be something flashy, something incredible. It has to do with the Caribbean. It has to do with palm trees. It has to do with um, sweet drinks. But make sure when you name that, name it something that really jumps out and has to do with the Caribbean or has to do with carnival. And they're gonna really like that. But the third piece of this uh, paper that you have to fill out is the drink. And no, you don't have to be a um, bartender in the past. Um, you just have to be creative. And you get two options when you make a drink. Either you're going to make a drink for um, out of tequila, or you're gonna make the drink out of rum. They give you two options. You have to circle your choice. You circle rum or you circle tequila. And then below that, they have, I think, seven to nine different uh, mixtures that you can add to that drink. I want you to uh, choose a peach. I want you to choose a coconut and then a blue curacao. They love sweet drinks, love them. You see them all over the Lido deck. They love sweet drinks. And then also you'll have to um, choose a a mixture to go in that. Like margaritas, they have sweet and sour mix. And pina colada has pina colada mix. What I want you to choose is, choose the pineapple juice. Can't make it too sweet, but the pineapple juice is a hit. Now I really want you to understand what you're making with that name that really attaches to that sweet drink. If you name it right, you name yourself right, and you make the drink sweet, 
they won't complain. You have to have rum. You're going to have your mixtures. You're going to have your pineapple juice. And uh, you're going to get picked. Here are the five steps, once again, to winning the mixology contest every single time. Step one is going to be you got to sign up. Can't play if you don't sign up. Step two is you have to name yourself and you have to name your drink. Step three is create your drink on that piece of paper, that sign up piece of paper. It's going to be rum or it's going to be tequila, your mixtures of alcohol. Don't forget that pineapple juice. Step four is you have to make your drink for them, in front of them. You have to pour it in the tin. Um, and step five is going to be dancing, shaking your thing, really stepping outside of your comfort zone and enjoying yourself. But that's where you win. You're going to interact with the judges. You're going to wrap your, the towel around their neck. You're going to give them fist bumps. Um, they are the ones that judge who wins the contest. Once you make your drink, here's what I want you to do. I want you to shake that drink really good and they're going to ask you to dance. This is where you put it all out on the table. You don't know any of these people. It doesn't matter. I've made an ass of myself more than once on these ships and I have an amazing time. When you start shaking that, I want you to shake it as hard as you can and get out there and do your twerking. But here's where you win. We want you to, I want you to go over to the judges, set that drink down on the ground and take your shirt off. And if you're a woman, unless you have a uh, bathing suit on underneath, nudity is um, not allowed. But like for me, I take my shirt off and um, I wrap it around, they either have, they normally have either two guys and a girl, or a girl and two guys. I always wrap my shirt around the back of the girl, act like I'm dancing as a stripper. I dance around, I give fist bumps to the other judges, I really interact with the judges itself. Because no matter what the crowd says, the judges are the ones that will make the choice. So. Make sure you interact with them. Sit on their lap, give them fist bumps. If there's, if you're a man and there's a woman there, put your wrap towel around her neck, dance with her, and really show off for the crowd. What I normally do is I have breakaway pants that have snaps on the side, and I have shorts on underneath, and I tear away my pants, and it the crowd just goes wild. I'm there to have fun. I don't know any of these people. So that is the way that you win the mixology contest. Now, what do you get for the mixology contest? Well, generally what happens is if you win, they take the name of your drink, the contents of your drink, they put it on a, they put it inside of the um, carnival caper the following day, and then they also post them at every single bar on the ship, that everyone can buy your drink on the ship for the rest of the cruise. And it's a great, a conversation piece in the elevators or at other bars or people asking you where can I get your drink jump in have fun guys that's what this is about don't sit on the side be the be, be the ones that are out there in front of everyone that's what's amazing so thanks for tuning in guys this was really an informative video for you guys to understand a little something about about the cruise to make things a little more fun don't forget to smash that like button Guys, don't forget to subscribe. That, that really means a lot to us. We're really starting to put a lot of content out for you guys. We can't wait until the season starts back. Right now, um, I want to give a shout out to all those healthcare members that are working on the front lines. Today is April 29th, 2020. And we're in the middle of uh, COVID quarantine and we have people out there on the front lines that are really fighting for us. So I want to give a nod to you guys and say thank you so much for, your doing, for what you're doing. You're doing amazing. Um, and we really hope that they open up the cruises very soon. Uh, we're hoping by July, but we'll never know. Hopefully we'll see you out on the high seas. Thanks so much, guys. So long. And this is Brian from the cruise travelers. Bye-bye. We flow together like an ocean. Every low and every high.